from the city of brotherly love. MLB The Show has baseball. Joe Lucchesi gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a real solid, solid performance in this one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they look. The 2 2. Q shot here out towards short. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Hey, two runners on after back to back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Mike, you're facing a guy like this. You don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded. A big moment in this game. Bases loaded. Tie score. But he still finds himself in a 2 1 count, ready to do some damage. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stanton has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And with only one away, no need to test it as he'll hold Adding tight at third base. Right Standing in. On. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one. On to first, and he really paid the price. Jay Happ, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, thanks, Matt. Jay's really put things together. Not overpowering, but pinpoint control. Reminds me a lot of former AL Cy Young Award winner Cliff Lee. Control with really good stuff, good fastball, good changeup, and his curveball is getting a lot better. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be. He's back with much better location, much better execution. That might have woke him up. Liner toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Garrett to need to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play as a run will score on the play as well. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits. The one-two. He's offered that and missed. He chased it for strike three. So next to the plate for the Bills. Now the three and two pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Back goes Jackson. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And the runner will score from second. And he will make it all the way around the bases. It's an inside the park two-run home run. Swing like this in the first thing, your mind starts racing trying to figure out about how long you're going to go with this guy and how many guys you might end up having. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo is a long ball. you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first down. Now with the plate, Yadier Molina. Has Line hard toward right center, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's... Austin Jackson. Heading out towards shallow right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Next hit. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he bunched him up a bit as this is lined softly over first. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. The runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 4-1 game. Hey, D-Row, they're making this guy pay. That's three. 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Stanton on the run. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 4 2 game. Hit on the ground out to short. Simeon's got it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. At the plate, Max Munson. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Jackson is over. One out. That is not. So here now. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? And this will be put away easily for the out. In now is Adam Eaton. He's over. Hit out towards second. Loved by Murphy. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Digging in now for the Brewers. 2-2 one more time. Bouncer down the line. Franco scoops it up. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. How about it? So here's the cleanup hitter. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that one is gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. No. For one here in the early going. Box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Franco going to have to hurry in time to first, and there are two away. How about it? Anthony Rizzo stand. Sinking line drive out to right center. And that's going to be a base hit for Rizzo. And the two out hit keeps the inning alive for Yadier Molina. Hey, with two strikes right there. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. Here now the 2 2. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Can't fault the pitcher for going back to back. In now, Austin Jackson lifted into center field. Bader moves over, and that ends the inning. The Brewers claw back just a bit on the solo home run. Stepping up to the ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Shot toward right center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. He's been making it look real easy out there. Two at bats, two doubles. They might... You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far. And clearly, they're all on the same page. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make him bring up something straight to strike zone. Make him work. See if he'll get in his own. If he's willing to walk a few guys and then someone pops one over the fence, this game could get out of hand early. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Hit hard on the ground to second. A dive and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. Now to the plate, the pitcher. Popped up. And there's out number one. How about it? Now back to the top of the Milwaukee. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bader is there now, and he has it to gone. How about it? Next for Milwaukee, here's the 1 1. Hit on the ground toward the left. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And the inning stays alive. It'll bring Mike Trout to the plate next. Uh, hey, Dero, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a handle of bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that. 
Marcus Simeon. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hits this one hard the other way. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Played so far. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielder. Murphy's got it. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Into the box now. Max. High and deep to right center. Santana looks up. And this one is gone. A home run. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Sent on the ground out to second. Murphy has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Number 33 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 33. Now batting just. Belted high in the air out to left. Back goes Stanton. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Standing in, Domingo. I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders, and that's exactly what that was right there. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. With this guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching. Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out the straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. A solo home run here for Anthony Rizzo. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Right now, you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left, and it's out of here. Back to back, two out home. Solo shot here to left. Austin Jackson. Here it comes on nothing and two. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. In now is Adam Eaton. And it's a ball and two strikes to Adam Eaton now. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw is there to record the first down. Digging in to try it again. Yes. And no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Now batting. Carlos Stanton now. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. This is drilled, but right into the ship. Gloved by Murphy. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out. Into Ben Paulson. will grab a bat and lead. High and deep to right center. Bader racing back at the track. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. How about it? Here's to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And with that... Hit on the ground to third. The second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that... Ruth Gregerson... Enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 45. Now in the box. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. Fielded by Escobar. Throw on the first. Takes care of Zimmerman for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now. First pitch on its way. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And gone right down the line the other way. No hits to this point. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there. Stepping into in. this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get the a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Bader ranging back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. Oh, and the throwback in is a wild one. 
but it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. I think most guys are probably content with a double on that deal for his fastball. Set. Here's the 3-1. Swing and a fly ball. And this should at least get home the tying run. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. But it's offline. He scores. And this ball game is tied here in the seventh. 1-1. One, one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Eaton's able to put this one away, and that's out number two. Anthony Rizzo stands in. Curveball that rolled over the heart of the plate. He's got to pull the trigger on that one. Hit hard to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the Ready once again. Matt Liberatore gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound. Goes the other way. And this is in the air out to left. Coming in on it is Jackson. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Brandon Barnes will grab a bat and hit for the pitch. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So the Phillies batting order. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Turner right there, and that will conclude. Joe Blanton can summon from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. You know, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was... Gerardo Parra will move into the on-deck. Popped him up. Munson is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Expands. We'll get the call here as he'll hit. Check swing grounder to the right side. Munson loves it on the first, and this will remain. Gerardo Parra will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Michael Gibbons is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. He was a 13th round pick during the first year player draft of 2018. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Now he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is into the box now. Daniel Mur popped him up. Franco is under it. One out. Now Here's the shortstop. Yunella. Here comes the first pitch. To short. On to first, and it's two up and two down in the inning for Blanton. Ready for another shot now. Mike. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Ryan Zimmer. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Marcus Semien. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Wow, you think they'd learned their lesson and would pitch around this guy. Here's the first pitch. Simeon's off and running. On the bunt attempt is... And he is out at the plate. Taking a chance, trying to end the ball game, but instead, there are now two... Makes the ball, needing to get the final out of the ninth to send this one with two strikes now. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Matt Barnes takes the mound as he'll be the first man to... 
high and deep to right center. Bader has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Now he just kept his hands back enough. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Stanton. Two down. Now with the plate, Anthony. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. The one and one pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Semyon moving to his left. And that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Diaz. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. In now is Adam Eaton. High fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. And that'll bring up the former top. Prime. Looking for a changeup to hit? Sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Crowd on the run. And the inning is over. In is Gerardo Parra. Now the 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. On the move is Stanton. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Brandon Crawford will move into the on deck circle. And this is swung on and missed. And the 11th inning is not going to plan here. There are two away. Now with the plate, Dan. Hit sharply on the ground. And this will get through into right. And he's aboard with a single. You think he's not setting a tone for this? One. He's looking for his third hit of the. Hit on the ground out to short. Simeon's there. Throw on the second for the force in the side. Tommy Kingley takes over now to start the home 11th. And he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12. Swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. Stepping into the box, Gary. From the stretch. Hit hard up the middle. Murphy's got it. And quickly, there are two away. Here's Ryan Zimmerman. Takes this the other way to right. Para is there to make the catch, and that means we've. Darren O'Day gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Stepping. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw gets him two down. How about it? Digging in. Dominic. Now the 2 1 pitch. Rocket to third, but pulled in at the hot corner. Digging in. Marcus Sem. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first down. Coming to the plate now. Michael. Now the pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Max Kepler. Ready with another two strike offering. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, Dia. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw to first ends the inning. Edwin Diaz takes the hill now to begin the lovely 13th inning. The three and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. After it is eaten. And that's the first out of the inning. Here's the catcher, Yadier. 
Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And Molina's aboard at base hit. Boy, talk about having a day, d -Roy. Hey, the runner at first represents the potential. Now the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two Pena will look for some two-out magic here. Now the 2-0. Line towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's... Chase Whitley enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. A pause and the 0-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Giancarlo Stanton now. Empty one man out. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Murphy has it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Ready for another chance. The 0-2 pitch. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. So striding in, Daniel Murphy. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bader has a play. He's got it one away. Here's the shortstop, Yunella. And Escobar swings and misses on a good pitch there, and he's retired for out number two. Striding in. A bouncer up the middle, taken in by Simeon. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Digging in now, Ryan Zimmerman. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. All right, I'm going to need this guy to find his way across the plate. I think everybody's ready to go home. Nice lead. Grounded back up the middle. Step on the back for one. And the return throw is wide and not in time as it pulled him off the bag, and they'll settle for just the one. Poor ball game right here. Here's the first pitch. He's running. Hit hard to short. Escobar is there. One there on the first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. Nate Jones gets the pitch in this one after. On the ground to third, there is Franco. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. Stepping in. Grounded to third. Oh, look at Franco. He's up with it. The throw. Hey, now. Stepping in. Anthony Wilson on a slider. If he's working that pitch, that's most guys' fastball. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Uh, maybe not as this stays up in the air long enough to... Sandy Leon will grab a bat hit. Line towards center field. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Number 91. Hit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. A nice piece of hit right there to put... Stepping in now, Adam Eaton. As he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. So digging in. Start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the other hand. Now here's a ground ball up the middle and into center field for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And at long last, the winning run is across the score. Player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls Our over line the line wall in this line. one. Really put the guys on his back. To turn the tables in two. Into right center field. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in the major leagues on Saturday. Looking first at the NL Central, Matt Barnes had his first victory of the year, leading Philadelphia to the victory over the Brewers 2-1. to one. The Cubs got 11 hits overall. As 
Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. The beginning of the work week and welcome to Inside the Show. In the National League Central, the Milwaukee Brewers snapped their five-game losing streak as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park 2-1. to one. At the start of the day, the Phillies sit in second place in the National League East Division and the Brewers sit in first place in the National League Central Division. The Chicago Cubs grabbed 13 hits in